Okay, we're ready. So, uh, against the odds, I'm very, very uh, happy to welcome Giacomo Silari, who will tell us everything about models of awareness. Please, Giacomo. That, that's you, yeah. That's all right. Uh, okay. Um, good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to be here. It's uh, travel season, so I, I came back yesterday from the States, and I, I, I couldn't be here uh, earlier, and apologies uh, for, for that. I uh, just wanted to mention that uh, uh, I'm uh, extremely honored and happy to be here at Scuola Normale, and uh, in particular, I'm happy to, to present uh, on uh, um, awareness, which is uh, a topic uh, uh, that I find very much in line with uh, uh, the interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach that uh, is fostered uh, here. Uh, economics on the one hand, but also uh, philosophy and, uh, and computer science. Uh, Heikel and, uh, and I uh, well, used to share an office up, uh, on the fourth floor, and uh, uh, most importantly, we share a, an interest in, in uh, uh, the uh, interrelation between uh, uh, these uh, uh, topics and, and subjects. So, um, uh, models uh, of, uh, of awareness or an introduction to, uh, to awareness. I'd like to start uh, with a few uh, examples and uh, uh, ideas uh, as to what uh, uh, awareness, uh, awareness is. Um, if we take uh, uh, standard uh, Aumann uh, structures, which I, I take it we're all uh, familiar with, uh, uh, we can express uh, uh, knowledge or belief or lack thereof, okay? Uh, so we can uh, uh, express uh, information and uh, uh, lack of, uh, of information. Um, so for instance, let's say that Giovanni wants to uh, go to the movies. Uh, he knows that Batman is a good movie. Does not know whether Transformers is good. Uh, but uh, uh, his uh, uh, issue his, is, is, uh, is an issue of information. He has information about uh, a movie, maybe he's read reviews. Uh, he doesn't have information about another movie. Uh, uh, so the uh, issue that he uh, faces here is an issue of lack of information. Um, but in Aumann structures, uh, we cannot express uh, the epistemic state in which we are entirely in the dark about something. Okay, so we can express uh, lack and issues about information, but we can express, uh, uh, say, failure of imaginations. Okay, lack of conception. If there's something that uh, entirely escapes our epistemic sphere, uh, then that remains uh, outside of uh, uh, the scope of expressibility of uh, traditional uh, algebraic Aumann, Aumann structures. So. Uh, let's say that uh, uh, Giovanni wants to go to the movies, he knows that Batman is good, doesn't know that uh, Transformers is good, uh, he has no idea that a Space Odyssey is playing on the theater. Okay? Uh, that that uh, going to watch that movie is a possibility, but it's a possibility uh, that uh, uh, Giovanni uh, entirely neglects. Huh? He does not uh, uh, consider um, that uh, uh, that 2001 is uh, uh, is playing. So, um, uh, how can we uh, how can we uh, model this? So, R, R uh, is not uh, simply unknown; it is uh, uh, fully excluded from uh, from the state space. So, uh, on the one hand, we have the modeler's point of view. Um, uh, in which uh, all uh, eight possible uh, states of the, of the world uh, are uh, expressible, uh, but we have also the subjective point of view of the decision maker, the subjective point of view of, uh, uh, of the agent uh, in which only P and Q are uh, available, so to speak, in, in, in which uh, uh, only P and Q are uh, the uh, conceivable uh, possibility. All right? Um, so this is, uh, yeah. please. Uh, just to, to um, uh, highlight uh, the possibilities that uh, uh, are 
uh, considered uh, or, or, or not. Okay. Um, so, uh, just a couple of examples of uh, uh, what uh, awareness uh, uh, is. Okay. Uh, typical uh, example, Isaac Newton uh, uh, was uh, not aware of the theory of, the theory of, uh, of relativity. Huh? Or uh, Columbus, uh, uh, starting his journey towards India, was not aware that uh, he would land in, uh, uh, in the New World. Uh, I am not aware that... Uh, 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 there exists some sophisticated financial instrument uh, that uh, could make me uh, reach in my retirement, but uh, uh, nevertheless, I, I don't. Uh, I don't just know. I don't just ignore what that instrument is. I just uh, uh, have no conception of what that might be. Huh? Um, this is a, a point that. Uh, uh, we'll come back in uh, uh, an application later. Uh, I ignore uh, what uh, that instrument, uh, financial instrument, might be, but still, uh, I might, in some sense, know that there is such an instrument. Okay? I, I might know that uh, my financial advisor could uh, could know something uh, 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 more precise, more detailed about uh, about that. And of course, my financial advisor. Most uh, most likely will exploit this uh, lack of uh, uh, awareness of uh, of mine uh, in, in uh, some self-serving <laughs> proposition. Uh, I am not aware that uh, 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 there is a possible lawsuit uh, that can be brought uh, up against uh, the firm that uh, I intend to buy. Hmm? This is uh, uh, a, a an example. Uh, that uh, recurs in in uh, in the awareness uh, literature, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go back to that. Uh, the idea is uh, um, that uh, uh, so a certain uh, class of uh, no trade theorems uh, stemming from uh, Aumann's uh, uh, agree to disagree uh, uh, result uh, need not hold in uh, uh, the case of uh, uh, aware in in in, in uh, uh, structures with uh, uh, with awareness. Okay. Uh, I'm not aware uh, of my implicit bias against women in the hard science. Okay. Um, uh, a, a, an idea that uh, uh, I, I'd like to uh, uh, read more often in the uh, awareness literature is uh, uh, that uh, through awareness we can uh, more easily model certain uh, uh, situations. Uh, of uh, uh, lack of rationality or presence of irrationality, presence of uh, biases or, or heuristics uh, that uh, in the standard model are uh, uh, difficult to uh, model, if possible, uh, at all. So this is uh, a, uh, a famous cartoon that illustrates uh, uh, the point. Sometimes uh, uh, we have a an implicit bias against uh, uh, the ability of women to do math hmm? uh, that we are not even conscious we, we have. All right. Uh, I uh, I will come back to this uh, later. Um, famous example: if you if you have read any of the literature on uh, awareness uh, after 2004. Uh, <laughs> this uh, quote uh, is uh, ubiquitous. Uh, it's uh, uh, Donald Rumsfeld, uh, back then the Secretary of uh, Defense of the United States, uh, that in a famous press conference and a famous uh, memo says, uh, there are known knowns, things that we know we know. There are known unknowns, things that we know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns, things that we don't know we don't know. Um, and. Uh, uh, often this is take, uh, taken to 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 be uh, a, a an example of uh, unawareness of uh, uh, talking about things uh, that uh, uh, we don't even know we don't know. I uh, I hope to uh, persuade you in in in, uh, in this tutorial that this is not exactly the right way to uh, talk and conceive of uh, uh, of unawareness. Uh, but in any case. Uh, the consensus seems to be that Rumsfeld is not a good uh, epistemic logician. He did not know what he was talking uh, about. Uh, he 
um, for instance, uh, when he uh, explains uh, the known uh, or the unknown knowns, uh, uh, he says, well, there, there are certain things that we thought we knew, but then it turns out that we didn't really. Uh, like I don't know weapons of mass destruction in in, uh, in Iraq, uh, but uh, so it, it, it seems that rather than unawareness, uh, uh, he understands uh, uh, unknown here just as uh, well failure of knowledge, uh, belief rather rather than knowledge. But in any case, if you're interested in uh, in this little uh, uh, piece of history, there are a couple of. Uh, uh, moments in uh, uh, the documentary by Errol Morris, the uh, known unknown, very beautiful documentary interview uh, with Ramsford in which uh, he talks about uh, uh, about this aspect. But anyways, uh, just to debunk uh, the, the ubiquitous uh, quote by, by Ramsfeld. Um, we can use uh, uh, awareness and unawareness uh, also to, to get uh, a better sense of uh, formalizing experimental results. Um, so take, for instance, a famous uh, 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 paper by uh, Jason Dana, uh, Dana Kane, and, and Robin Dawes, uh, what you don't know does not hurt me. The, in, in, in this paper, there's a, a, a dictator game uh, being played. Um, and uh, uh, subjects have uh, uh, dictators uh, have uh, an exit, uh, uh, a silent exit op option uh, that is uh, not simply unknown by uh, the uh, receivers, uh, but uh, the receivers are entirely in the dark about it. So uh, the receiver could get zero uh, just uh, because uh, the uh, dictator has decided to leave the game without letting the receiver know that there was uh, a game altogether. Uh, this uh, 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 lack of awareness uh, um, has, uh, uh, on part of the receivers, has an impact uh, on uh, on the behavior of uh, uh, of dictators. Um, uh, an impact that uh, simple lack of knowledge. Uh, uh, probably wouldn't have if uh, if the receivers uh, were to uh, uh, be uncertain as to whether uh, the dictator uh, has decided to exit the game or has decided to give zero. Uh, well, then the behavior of the uh, of uh, of the dictator wouldn't be different from a standard dictator game. Uh, or uh, another example is uh, in a paper by uh, Bikerian and Shavetz uh, uh, about uh, uh, an ultimatum game in which uh, uh, players have the option to uh, give eight, the uh, proposers have uh, the option to give eight uh, or to give five or to toss a coin and let the coin decide whether uh, uh, the, the offer would be eight or five. What happens? Uh, uh, in this case, uh, in this experiment, is that uh, uh, there are two uh, experimental conditions playing with uh, uh, information. Uh, in, uh, in one condition, uh, the responders are unaware of the uh, option of tossing a coin. Okay? And uh, in uh, another condition, uh, the uh, responders are aware of that option, but they are uncertain as to whether the proposer has chosen uh, to use that option or uh, not. Okay. Uh, not surprisingly, in the former case, in the case in which there is uh, awareness of the coin option, uh, the behavior of the responders uh, is to make fair offers. And in the latter case, in which there's uncertainty as to whether the coin option has been used or not, uh, the behavior of the proposer is uh, uh, to make uh, an unfair offer, hoping that uh, uh, the responder will consider it as uh, a, a, a result of a chance coin toss. Um, so uh, 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 these aspects are uh, uh, less immediately um, uh, 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 amenable to uh, modelization in uh, uh, standard uh, knowledge structures, but uh, uh, awareness uh, lends itself uh, uh, well to to this kind of uh, uh, model. Uh, another uh, another example is uh, uh, 
uh, Werner Gutz's uh, idea of satisfying that uh, comes from Herbert Simon through uh, uh, Reiner Selten, uh, a, a uh, more structured, a more uh, um, structured idea of, uh, of satisfying in which uh, decision makers uh, don't consider all possible options at their disposal, but uh, uh, only a subset of the uh, uh, possible events, and in particular, uh, uh, a, a, a subjective. Uh, idiosyncratic uh, subset of, uh, of, uh, of those events. Um, uh, uh, Bayesianism uh, uh, is uh, uh, not utilizable in, in this uh, setting and, uh, um, and this seems to suggest that some sort of uh, uh, unawareness uh, model could be uh, of, uh, of use in, in this case. So, uh, several different uh, uh, possible applications of uh, uh, the notion of unawareness is uh, uh, again the idea that uh, there is a lack of uh, imagination of uh, uh, of conception uh, of uh, possible uh, uh, of possibilities. Okay. Um, so given that this is uh, the uh, main idea, how are we going to uh, how are we going to model this? Uh, there are a few. Uh, uh, approaches uh, in uh, in the literature, uh, and uh, uh, I'm afraid this is an older version, so I don't have them here. But uh, let me let me listen to them. Uh, there are basically three uh, uh, main approaches to uh, modeling uh, uh, awareness and unawareness. Uh, one that we can call the epistemic approach, the, or the logic-based approach, uh, uh, is uh, uh, the the uh, uh, oldest one, uh, stemming from uh, a paper uh, by uh, computer scientists Fagin and Halpern, in, in, uh, published in uh, Artificial Intelligence in uh, '88, uh, and uh, and again the uh, idea uh, of the paper uh, can be traced uh, uh, even back to uh, Alan Newell's uh, uh, um, uh, famous paper on, on uh, knowledge levels. Uh, so that's a, an approach based uh, on uh, a logic, on epistemic logic. Uh, a second approach, uh, pioneered by uh, Heifetz, uh, uh, Meyer, and Schipper in uh, a paper that uh, was published in 2006 in the Journal of Economic Theory, uh, is uh, uh, more palatable for uh, economists, uh, an approach uh, that extends uh, Auman, uh, uh, Auman structures uh, uh, in, uh, um, uh, in, in, in a way uh, that allows for representation of, uh, uh, of unawareness. And, uh, uh, and then thirdly, in uh, uh, more recent years, uh, uh, approaches based on choice theory have, uh, uh, have, uh, have emerged. So we'll, uh, uh, we'll take a, a, a look at this uh, three different uh, uh, ways to uh, to model unaware, uh, unawareness uh, and to a specific application of uh, one of these. Um, all right. So uh, the intuition uh, underlying uh, the notion of uh, uh, awareness uh, in computer science. Uh, uh, stems from, uh, as, I, as I was saying, a paper by uh, Alan Newell uh, from 1980. Uh, the idea that uh, um, knowledge, as we understand it, uh, is not just information, but it's uh, uh, composed of two elements, information and access uh, to information. Uh, information is, uh, in a sense, objective, is, uh, is out there, and uh, uh, access uh, is uh, the subjective component. Uh, uh, access is uh, the ability of uh, uh, an agent uh, to perform a certain calculation, to prove a certain theorem, uh, to uh, 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 be aware of a certain, uh, of a certain possibility. Okay, Auman structures uh, are able to capture the former informational character of knowledge, uh, but uh, uh, necessarily overlook uh, overlook the uh, overlook the latter. Um, now, the 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 reason, um, the rationale 
uh, behind uh, uh, this approach to knowledge uh, and uh, and hence to awareness uh, uh, was mainly a concern of computer scientists uh, uh, with uh, a problem uh, uh, that uh, that comes with uh, formal representations of knowledge and belief, uh, i.e. the problem of logical omniscience. Um, uh, on the one hand, there's a philosophical problem in that uh, uh, in standard models uh, of, uh, of knowledge, uh, uh, agents are assumed to, uh, for instance, know all tautologies. Uh, and this uh, uh, is... Uh, problematic from a philosophical point of view, because uh, if we are talking about realistic uh, agents, uh, then uh, the knowledge of uh, all possible tautologies is, uh, uh, is clearly uh, unwarranted. Um, and so the idea is, uh, uh, was to restrict knowledge uh, in this very expansive sense to uh, 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 a, a, an implicit uh, characterization. So uh, we can say that uh, an agent, uh, be it uh, uh, a human agent or a computer uh, uh, program, uh, is uh, in principle able to know all tautologies, is in principle able to uh, uh, prove uh, all uh, uh, theorems of uh, arithmetic, but in practice uh, uh, he's only uh, aware of uh, a subset of, uh, of those. So this was uh, the main uh, uh, concern uh, um, of, uh, uh, of computer scientists and the main reason uh, why they introduced this kind of uh, uh, machinery of, uh, uh, of awareness. All right. um, economists uh, were less uh, concerned by, uh, by this aspect. So uh, in, uh, in economics, so the, the, the uh, seminal paper in in uh, uh, computer science, as uh, as I mentioned, was Fagin and Halpern, eighty eight. In uh, uh, in economics, uh, uh, as far as I uh, know, the first uh, uh, paper on unawareness is by uh, Modica and Rustichini in uh, ninety four. Uh, so a few years uh, later, but. Um, um, the uh, issue that uh, that uh, is tackled by economists is not really the issue of logical omniscience, uh, but rather uh, what we were uh, talking about at the beginning: the issue of uh, lack of imagination, a failure of uh, conceiving of certain uh, of certain possibilities. All right, and uh, we'll see that uh, this. Uh, the fact that uh, the two modelizations stem from these two different uh, uh, issues, problems, concerns, leads to uh, 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 slight variations or uh, slight differences uh, in, uh, uh, in the models themselves. All right? um, but even if uh, we are just interested in lack of conception and not in uh, uh, overcoming logical omniscience, uh, uh, Aumann structure, the traditional uh, uh, structures, are uh, not adequate to model, uh, to model this. Right? Uh, third, uh, uh, third example that I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, choice theoretic uh, models of, uh, of awareness. Uh, there's a... Uh, um, uh, one that uh, I, I just want to uh, quickly uh, mention here that uh, has been published uh, uh, on uh, AER uh, earlier this year um, in a paper uh, called Reverse Bayesianism. Okay? The idea uh, is uh, uh, that uh, uh, if we assume uh, a fundamental unchanging preference uh, 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 relation of uh, the decision maker, uh, then we can uh, uh, assume that uh, the decision maker can uh, uh, discover, i.e. become aware of, uh, new uh, feasible acts uh, or uh, new consequences of uh, uh, her actions or uh, of new links between acts uh, and, uh, and consequences. Um, as uh, uh, the awareness of the decision maker uh, increases, uh, the uh, state space uh, gets finer. Finer distinctions uh, can, uh, can be made. Um, and uh, for instance, uh, uh, what uh, may happen is that uh, null events uh, uh, come to have non-null probability. 
So, uh, uh, in in uh, in this sense, uh, uh, Carney speaks of uh, uh, reverse uh, Bayesianism. So, it's not just uh, um, events that uh, uh, come to have zero probability in uh, in the case of uh, uh, updating, but it's uh, uh, null events that. Uh, uh, come to life, so to speak, uh, in case of uh, 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 expansion of, uh, of awareness, uh, increase in, uh, uh, in awareness. And uh, as I said, uh, uh, a decision maker can become aware of new acts, of new consequences, of new links between uh, uh, acts and, uh, and consequences. Uh, uh, an example that uh, that I that I liked from this paper is. Uh, um, during the construction of the of the Panama Channel, uh, uh, in, in um, order to avoid uh, uh, that uh, ants uh, climb on the bed of uh, uh, sick uh, workers, uh, they put the beds, the the, the, the legs of the beds, in uh, 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 vases full of water. But uh, the water became breeding grounds for mosquitoes, and so. Uh, all of a sudden, all sick ward, uh, workers, uh, 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 or a uh, 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 large majority of, of sick workers, became sicker with uh, yellow fever. Uh, and then they discovered the link between mosquitoes and yellow fever, and uh, so they were able to uh, uh, prevent this by uh, tossing away the the, uh, the jars with the water. Um, yeah, and so uh, <laughs> I don't know how they <laughs> went back to solving that problem. Um, uh, okay, it's not here. But uh, re uh, recall uh, the uh, the cartoon that uh, that I showed earlier about uh, uh, girls uh, uh, sucking at math. Huh? Uh, in in uh, in in that case, uh, uh, there is uh, um, a link. Uh, between being a woman and uh, uh, being not good at math, all right? Uh, that is part of my uh, uh, information structure, okay? Uh, at least unconsciously. Right? And uh, 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 notice how in, in, uh, in that case, breaking that link uh, is, uh, is actually uh, a, a good thing to do. So, in a sense, uh, it, it's uh, it's not uh, immediately. Uh, uh, it, it's not the case that uh, a finer partition uh, is uh, is always uh, better information-wise uh, or uh, 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 choice-wise. Um, uh, in fact, uh, a coarser partition sometimes uh, uh, can uh, uh, can be more desirable, and the finer partition can uh, uh, actually be. Uh, breeding grounds for, uh, for instance, implicit bias. Um, all right. So these are the three uh, big families of uh, uh, awareness uh, models that uh, um, that uh, 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 exist in uh, in the literature. Uh, as I mentioned, the first uh, th there's also a sort of a uh, temporal. Uh, order to them, uh, the first models, the epistemic models, uh, uh, late 80s, uh, early uh, 90s, uh, the, the uh, set theoretic models, the uh, event-based models uh, uh, were developed in the early 2000s, uh, and uh, uh, the choice theoretic models uh, uh, have been uh, uh, developed uh, uh, starting from uh, uh, the beginning of this uh, decade. Please. Yes. I, I will I will say more about it uh, in a, in a second. The, the, this is uh, this is it. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, here, let me uh, let let me uh, delve more into the details of the uh, epistemic uh, models. Um, so in this case, uh, let's just uh, consider uh, logical. Uh, 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 formulas, uh, phi uh, being one, and uh, uh, if we defined uh, recursively uh, the uh, atoms of uh, of a formula as uh, as follows, so if we have uh, a, uh, a primitive, an atomic formula, the atom is uh, 
the atom. The atoms of negated formula are the uh, atoms of uh, uh, the non-negated formulas. The atoms of uh, the conjunctions are the union of the atoms of the two conjuncts. And the atoms uh, of uh, a knowledge formula uh, are the atoms uh, of the object of knowledge uh, 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 together with uh, uh, this particular, the atoms of this particular formula that uh, stands for agent I is aware of uh, uh, phi. So if we define uh, uh, recursively the atoms uh, belonging to a formula as, uh, as, uh, as we just did, uh, then uh, we can define awareness. So uh, agent I is aware of formula phi as uh, 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 being the case when uh, agent I is aware of all uh, the atomic formulas that are mentioned in the formula phi. Okay, so um, this is uh, uh, indeed the uh, approach to awareness that is favored uh, uh, in uh, in economics. It's uh, 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 it's uh, traditionally called awareness as generated by primitive propositions. Uh, and it is called so because uh, if uh, sorry, if the agent is aware of all the primitives in uh, a given complex formula, then uh, the agent is aware of a formula. And the agent is aware of only those formulas of which he is aware uh, of all the uh, primitive mentioned in, uh, in that formula. Now, this is... Uh, uh, this is good because it's uh, an easy, uh, intuitive way of defining uh, awareness. If I have uh, uh, a conjunction P and Q, I'm aware of P, I'm aware, I'm aware of Q, then I'm aware of the conjunction P and Q. Okay? Um, it's, not entirely, it's not an entirely innocent way to define awareness. Uh, and from the point of view of computer scientists and philosophers, is actually quite sinful. Why? Well, because uh, uh, if the uh, rationale behind introducing awareness is to get rid of logical omniscience, uh, uh, here logical omniscience, so, so to speak, come, comes back from, uh, you know, you, you, you put it out from the door, it comes back from the window. Uh, in the sense that uh, for the restricted uh, uh, language in which uh, um, only the uh, primitives mentioned in uh, the formula of awareness uh, are contained, well, for that restricted language, the agent is, again, fully logically omniscient. Okay? He knows all uh, uh, the logical truths pertaining to that portion, to that fragment of, uh, uh, of the language. Exactly, exactly. Um, and uh, another, uh, an, an, another consequence is that, uh, let's, uh, let's say, uh, let's take again the, the, the case of P and Q. Uh, if I'm aware of P and I'm aware of Q, I'm, a, I'm aware of P and Q, and I'm also aware of Q and P. And uh, sometimes the order in which uh, 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 conjuncts uh, are presented uh, actually matters. And, uh, and again, if we uh, go back to uh, the literature on uh, heuristics and biases, uh, uh, well, uh, there are anchoring effects, there are framing effects, there are primacy effects uh, uh, that uh, indicate that it is possible that sometimes uh, we may be uh, uh, aware of uh, um, a conjunction. So, uh, for example, presented in a certain order, but not of the same conjunction, of a conjunction of the same terms presented in a in a different uh, in a different order, so this is a, a, a formally very economical way and and uh, a, a, a convenient way of uh, uh, introducing uh, uh, awareness, uh, but it's not without uh, uh, its uh, uh, faults. Uh, so it's not ideal. 
but it's better than uh, uh, naive uh, definitions of, uh, uh, of awareness, like, uh, for instance, the one that was uh, introduced by Modica and Rusticini in 94. Uh, their idea was the following. Let's take uh, uh, awareness of, uh, of phi, so I, agent I is aware of phi, if and only if uh, agent I knows phi, or uh, it's uh, Ramsfeld's known, uh, unknown, unknown. Or if he, d or, or he does not know phi, and he uh, uh, knows that he does not know phi. Okay. Um, what is the problem with this definition of awareness? Uh, logically, this formula here is equivalent to this formula here. So now we have that uh, I is aware of phi if he knows phi, or he knows that he does not not know phi. Huh? Uh, yes, sorry. The, this phi is, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, but, uh, um, yes, sorry about that. Uh, so, but uh, if we uh, uh, consider, so if this is our definition of uh, awareness, well, uh, this uh, begs the question of what uh, uh, knowledge is. And uh, uh, if you're familiar with uh, the, the literature on uh, uh, Auman structures and knowledge representation, uh, you know that one uh, uh, fundamental axiom of, uh, of knowledge is that uh, uh, of uh, negative introspection. So uh, if uh, uh, I does not know that phi then uh, please disregard this phi here, then he knows that he does not know that phi. All right? Um, but this and this together uh, imply that uh, 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 the agent is aware of all, uh, of all formulas. All right? So either uh, he knows uh, phi or if he doesn't, uh, phi axiom uh, of negative introspection uh, guarantees that he knows that he does not know. So he's always aware of any uh, of any formulas. Yeah, that's a, that that is a um, a good question. Uh, mainly, uh, I would say because uh, that allows. Uh, 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 for a partitional uh, 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 representation of knowledge, which is mathematically uh, convenient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But, uh, and therefore, either you, you remove the axiom or you uh, change the the structure. In fact, removing the axiom is not even uh, uh, sufficient. Uh, this example shows it. Um, so consider uh, this definition of unawareness uh, this time. So an agent is unaware of phi if he does not know phi and he does not know that he does not know phi. All right. Um, this should be an, an equal sign. Sorry for the for the typos. Um, where, where is the problem here? Well, uh, let's drop five and, uh, and, uh, and try and uh, let's drop uh, negative introspection and, and try and define uh, awareness uh, in, uh, uh, in Almond structures uh, that are non-partitional. Uh, uh, the, the state space is A and B. Uh, the possibility uh, uh, partition of uh, 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 the agent uh, at A is uh, A and that B is A and B, so we don't have a partition of, uh, of the space. Uh, what, what happens? At, uh, at state B, uh, the agent does not know A and does not know that uh, uh, she does not know A. So at B, uh, the agent is unaware of A. Okay? Um, however, uh, unaware of B means that the agent does not know B and he does not know that he does not know B. But in this model, uh, there's no such a state, okay? So at B, uh, it doesn't hold that uh, the agent is unaware of B. It means that the agent is aware of B. But B, remember, is uh, the state in which uh, the agent is unaware of A. And so at B, 
the agent is aware of her being unaware of A. And this clashes with our uh, 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 idea uh, of, uh, of awareness. Uh, this is telling us that uh, um, the agent is aware that she is unaware of something, of a, or, or of a specific event. And this is uh, 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 something uh, counterintuitive. Uh, this is, uh, 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 by the way, a, uh, um, a recurrent problem in, in the literature of, uh, of awareness, because as you recall at the beginning, uh, my financial advisor might know, uh, might be aware of some uh, 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 sophisticated instrument that uh, I don't know, but that I might be aware that he might know. Okay, so uh, uh, awareness of uh, an awareness uh, uh, is desirable uh, in uh, models, uh, uh, and yet if we use standard structures, uh, uh, it uh, it uh, clearly is not uh, uh, suitable. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, uh, so here uh, we we have dropped a, a negative introspection, but we have retained uh, uh, the axiom of uh, truth, so to speak. So, uh, if I know phi, then 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 phi is true. Okay. Uh, uh, In this, in this sense, yes. Mm -hmm. Not in terms of knowledge. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. The point, uh, uh, yes. Um, the point of this, however, is to to show that. Uh, uh, so here, with uh, with uh, axiom five uh, negative introspection, uh, we have trivial uh, results. Uh, we drop axiom five. We have counterintuitive results. Uh, moreover, this is a, 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 I'm a little behind, sorry. Uh, this is a paper uh, by uh, Dekel, uh, uh, Lipman, and, and Rustichini. They show that uh, if we assume fairly reasonable properties of awareness, uh, uh, if the agent is unaware of E, then uh, uh, the agent does not know, and the agent does not know that he does not know E. If uh, 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 an agent is unaware of E, the agent cannot know that he is unaware of E. Uh, and if the agent is unaware of E, then the agent is uh, unaware of uh, uh, his unawareness of E. These three properties are all very uh, reasonable, but coupled with uh, uh, the uh, rule of necessitation that uh, is uh, a, um, a rule um, always... Uh, uh, valid in, in Aumann structures, uh, uh, we obtain uh, again a, a triviality result. So uh, uh, either the agent is unaware of the, uh, uh, everything, or if uh, uh, she's aware of something, she's aware of everything. All right. Uh, you can see that here, but I, I won't go uh, through it because it's getting a, li a little late. All right. So. Uh, uh, what's the point of this? Uh, axiom five uh, uh, brings up uh, uh, brings about triviality. Dropping axiom five brings about uh, 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 counterintuitivity. Uh, there are uh, 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 triviality results uh, uh, when it comes to using standard structures to represent uh, uh, awareness. So uh, we use uh, non-standard uh, uh, non-standard structures. Okay, uh, and uh, how do we use non-standard structures? So this is the paper uh, by Fagin and Halpern, uh, 88. Uh, they uh, distinguish, uh, according to the intuition uh, uh, that I mentioned before, explicit knowledge, implicit knowledge, and awareness. So explicit knowledge is, in a sense, true knowledge, and uh, 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 obtains when we have implicit knowledge and access to that knowledge and awareness of that uh, implicit knowledge. Uh, how do we 
uh, define it. Uh, we take uh, a, uh, a propositional logic uh, uh, of uh, knowledge with knowledge operators. We add uh, uh, awareness operators. So we add explicit knowledge operators. And we introduce an axiom that says, uh, well, uh, uh, the agent explicitly knows phi if and only if uh, she implicitly knows phi and uh, is aware of, uh, uh, of phi. Okay? Um, and uh, at the semantic level, everything is uh, uh, as usual, except that uh, we add uh, 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 functions that are a strange uh, uh, hybrid of syntactic and semantical uh, functions, uh, awareness functions from uh, W, the uh, space set, to the set of formulas in the language. And uh, these, acts, these uh, uh, sets uh, that uh, uh, are defined for each uh, agent uh, at each state represent intuitively the formulas that the agent is aware of at that state. All right? Uh, and then uh, semantically, we have that at a certain state, uh, AI phi is true if and only if phi belongs to this uh, awareness set, and uh, explicit knowledge of, I, uh, 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 of phi is true if there is implicit knowledge that is standardly defined and awareness. All right? So this uh, captures uh, uh, well the uh, uh, intuition underlying awareness. Uh, this is uh, a nice uh, um, uh, graphical representation uh, that I borrow from uh, a, um, a chapter, uh, textbook chapter by uh, Burkhard Schipper. Uh, here we have these four states of the word. Uh, the two agents are an owner of a business and the buyer of a business. Remember uh, the buying uh, firm examples uh, uh, from uh, uh, the beginning. Uh, N is a state in which uh, there is uh, an innovation that occurs that increases the value of the firm. L is a state in which there is a lawsuit that occurs that decreases the value of the firm. We have four uh, options. The blue uh, 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 cloud here is uh, uh, the uh, owner's uh, uh, awareness uh, 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 set, and the red dotted cloud is uh, the buyer's uh, awareness set. So uh, here, uh, in all states, in fact, uh, the owner is uh, uh, aware of a possible lawsuit, and the buyer is not. But the buyer is aware of a possible innovation, and the owner is, uh, is not. Uh, these uh, 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 soft-edged uh, uh, squares represent the possibility correspondences of uh, uh, buyer and owner, uh, respectively. So you see that there is a standard Alman structure supplemented with awareness structure for each, uh, uh, set, uh, for each uh, uh, state. Uh, and each agent, we specify the formulas that the agent is aware of at that state. Okay. Um, if we want to go back to that uh, awareness as generated uh, uh, by primitive propositions that uh, uh, I mentioned before, we just restrict awareness with these uh, fairly reasonable uh, properties. In this case, uh, we will have a model of uh, an an awareness as lack of conception. Okay, we will have uh, the 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 whole uh, 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 um, power of logical omniscience uh, restricted to the portion of uh, uh, language that we're using, uh, but we will be able to cut off certain uh, uh, primitives from uh, our uh, from our language. Um, okay. Um, that much for epistemic uh, uh, models. Set theoretical accounts of awareness. There are three uh, uh, main, uh, uh, main ones. Uh, Modica and Rusticini in 99, uh, in which they uh, revisit uh, an awareness and propose uh, a new model uh, of, uh, of awareness different from the 94 paper, uh, generalized standard models uh, that capture the idea of uh, limiting the vocabulary 
of uh, uh, at, uh, at agents' disposal, uh, having a restriction on the things that are uh, expressible uh, in, uh, a given, uh, in a given world. Uh, Heifetz uh, uh, and uh, Meyer and Schipper, uh, 2006 in fact, um, interactive and awareness models uh, uh, in which uh, 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 unawareness uh, is introduced uh, through a lattice of spaces uh, uh, from uh, most uh, expressive to least uh, expressive and uh, awareness is introduced as uh, projections uh, 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 between those spaces and uh, uh, Jingli's uh, uh, product model uh, published uh, in, uh, uh, in Journal of Economic Theory in uh, uh, 09 uh, in, uh, uh, in which uh, the ideas of uh, epistemic uh, uh, logic and uh, uh, event-based uh, approach are, in uh, some sense, uh, uh, combined. Yes? Uh, that's true. That, that, that is true. Uh, in fact, uh, I think that your question can be even more fundamental because uh, uh, all these accounts uh, have uh, strong uh, ties with uh, with uh, the uh, uh, with the logical account, uh, with the Fagin and Halper account. And uh, uh, in the last slide, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to that. Um, all right, here again, uh, uh, simple uh, illustrations of uh, uh, how uh, these uh, these uh, models work. In, in this case, uh, uh, you have the interactive awareness model of uh, Heifetz uh, et al. Uh, here, the most uh, expressive space in which uh, uh, both uh, innovation and lawsuits are uh, expressible. Here, the least expressive state in which nothing is expressible. Here, uh, this, the, the, the space in which uh, only innovation is, is expressible, here the state in which only the lawsuit is expressible, and you see how projecting uh, the states of the objective space, so to speak, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on this uh, uh, less uh, expressive state here uh, is tantamount to saying that uh, uh, the, the person who's uh, uh, possibility correspondence uh, is uh, um, uh, defined by the red lines, uh, the buyer uh, is only aware of the innovation and the person whose possibility correspondence is defined by the blue lines is only aware of uh, uh, the lawsuit. Okay? Um, this is uh, an illustration of the product model. I, uh, in the interest of time, uh, I, will, uh, I will skip a description of this, but you see that, again, there is uh, the same intuition of uh, uh, a, a rich uh, state space in which uh, uh, everything is expressible and then progressively less expressive uh, uh, state spaces. Um, so I wanted to say something about uh, awareness of unawareness uh, and uh, 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 further possible uh, ways to approach the problem, but uh, I am sadly uh, out of time. So let me just uh, uh, give you in the last, uh, if I have, yes, I have it here. In the uh, in the last uh, two minutes, uh, a uh, an overview, general overview of uh, of the literature here. Uh, so this is the seminal paper that uh, I mentioned at the beginning, the Fagin and Halpern. Uh, they have generalized uh, uh, awareness here um, that is, uh, in fact, uh, 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 okay, generalized awareness here um, uh, that uh, is, in fact, related uh, with uh, the Heifetz, Meyer, and Schipper uh, event-based structures. The relation here. Uh, um, let, so let me let me let me do this. Uh, 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 single agent awareness structures here are just a single agent case of this. Uh, they are equivalent to Jingli's product model uh, and equivalent to Modica and Rusticini generalized standard models. Uh, the equivalence holds this uh, here as well. So these three 
single agent models are uh, uh, one and, and the same. Uh, Eifetz, Meyer, and Schipper use a multi-agent uh, uh, um, uh, multi uh, uh, model that is equivalent to the multi-agent models. Uh, this can be generalized to multi-agent settings. So, in a sense, we are all, all these, uh, these uh, models uh, are uh, 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 facets of the of the same uh, uh, of of the same of one and the same model. The only difference here is that uh, um, awareness is not necess necessarily generated by primitive propositions, and so these models here are richer and can express uh, more kinds of uh, of awareness. Remember the case in which uh, the agent is aware of P and Q, but not aware of Q and P. That's something that uh, all these uh, uh, models here cannot uh, uh, express. Uh, there's uh, uh, something to say about uh, quantification and the possibility of expressing awareness of an awareness. And here I, I conclude. Uh, remember that uh, one issue that, uh, that we mentioned is that uh, uh, being aware of uh, uh, my being unaware is uh, uh, conceptually problematic, but uh, in a sense uh, uh, it is desirable to be able to model that. Um, so how, uh, how can we do that? Uh, uh, the idea uh, by Halpern and, and Rego, by myself, by Bord and Chang, is to use uh, a quantification. Uh, Oliver Bord and, uh, and, uh, and myself, uh, we use a first order uh, logic to, uh, um, to represent awareness of an awareness. Halpern and Rego uh, use second order propositional logic. So in this case, they say, well, there is some formula I don't know which one, uh, of which I'm uh, uh, unaware, but I know that I'm unaware of some formula X. The fact that uh, they don't pinpoint a specific formula uh, makes it uh, uh, possible to say that I'm aware of uh, my unawareness of something. Uh, this uh, is even more uh, um, uh, 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 conveniently expressed uh, in, uh, in the case of uh, first order uh, first order logic in which uh, uh, you can be aware uh, or unaware of specific objects uh, in the domain of quantification and aware or un or unaware of specific predicates in uh, uh, in uh, in your language um, okay so this is uh, a, a a very broad and very quick picture of uh, uh, some of the literature of unawareness. I, I left off uh, so many things, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, the, uh, the biggest one that I left off uh, is uh, uh, applications of uh, unawareness to games. And that's uh, a, a whole new chapter that uh, maybe I, uh, uh, there, there, there will be more uh, occasions to, to talk about it. But thank you very much for your attention. Thanks very much, Giacomo. Are there are questions. Yeah, thank you for your talk. Uh, I just just to clarify, um, I'm not sure I'm, I understood what you mean by non-standard things here. I mean, um, is aren't these all just polymodal logics? And uh, yeah. Are, so when when we talk about the semantics, it's just standard. What is there to say about the specifics? Of the okay, it's non. It's non-standard in the sense. That let's uh, let's take uh, uh, the the since uh, uh, you mentioned logic let's take this logic illustration here here the standard model is the one without the clouds okay in this model you have uh, 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 information partitions for both agents okay uh, but uh, in these models you cannot represent uh, uh, awareness. If you try, uh, you you get into these kind of uh, uh, issues here. So to represent uh, awareness in standard models, uh, you want to say that, well, I'm unaware of something. If I don't know something, I, I, I don't know that I don't know something, Rumsfeld style. Uh, but that uh, sort of implies that uh, with necessitation, either I am 
unaware of uh, everything, or if I'm aware of something, I'm aware of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's be, it's back. Yes. And this is the non-standard part. So this is all standard up to here. And here you have uh, awareness sets. So for each agent at each word, you have a function from uh, uh, agent uh, uh, comma word to uh, the uh, language. And uh, this function tells you which, of, uh, which formulas the agent is aware of at that word in that state, okay? And this is, uh, uh, this is something that uh, you cannot represent in uh, uh, standard Aumann, uh, uh, Aumann structures. In order to represent this, uh, uh, either you use generalized standard uh, uh, structures uh, at the, a la Modica Rusticini, or uh, uh, lattices of, uh, of spaces, uh, like in the case of Lee, or in the case, okay? So it's just a matter of expressivity. Uh, are there more questions? Yep. So I was a bit surprised not to see the decision problem more prominently, in the sense you, have, you probably didn't mention even the word decision in the talk. But in a sense, uh, you are aware or not aware. The relevance of being aware or not aware is relative to something that you want to do some decision, at least uh, in economics and related fields. Uh, so it's not a contemplative exercise. It's not that we, no, yes. so it, it should be somehow framed within a problem and then uh, an awareness, uh, sorry, that's a complicated word, uh, should be no, tested. Uh, so, so. I, no, I understand the concern. Uh, uh, yes, this is uh, more of a modeling uh, exercise than, uh, than uh, answering a specific uh, 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 decision theoretic uh, uh, problem, um, and, uh, uh, and that's uh, that's a choice I made in in uh, in uh, how to to present the material. But let me tell you this this much in in uh, in the case of the uh, trading example here, uh, uh, there is. Uh, uh, um, you, you can you can see the relevance of uh, using uh, using awareness. So if you have uh, a common prior and uh, uh, you have common knowledge of the posterior, uh, 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 then there is no uh, trade possible between this uh, owner and the buyer. Um, uh, if you assume, so if you are uh, in uh, in this uh, uh, um, in this uh, uh, space without uh, the little clouds, without the awareness uh, structure. If you impose the awareness structure, uh, then uh, uh, speculative trade become uh, become possible. So that's, uh, 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 for instance, uh, a, a, a useful application, I would say. Um, uh, and then there's all the stuff that uh, uh, unwisely I left out, uh, i.e. Uh, revising solution concepts uh, for uh, for games uh, and uh, uh, providing uh, uh, extensions of uh, of decision uh, theory uh, uh, contemplating uh, uh, contemplating uh, uh, awareness uh, there's a paper by carney there's a, uh, there are papers by grant and quicken on on uh, on this uh, there's a paper on shipper on uh, uh, applying uh, uh, Anscombe Aumann uh, to uh, uh, spaces uh, uh, with uh, non-standard spaces. Um, but uh, as, as I said, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, I, I, I made the unwise decision of uh, going for the modeling uh, part. Thanks very much, Jacqueline.